also seen Mario Panagos out there. He's just making his second start, and this one underway between Sac Republic and New Mexico, New Mexico United, United here, here on Meow Wolf Night. Tyler Ortega, Chris Hurst here on the call, and Chris, it's good to, to be back to league play. This is their leading goal scorer, Russell Ciceroni. Former Pittsburgh Riverhounds man, still Ciceroni, and Ciceroni making Tambakis come out to make a save just three minutes in here, Chris. New Mexico once again. That was Bruce sending that one to Danny Vitiello. Anybody that can rock a tutu, it's David Carl. <laughs> Back to the action here, it looks like Lopez is okay. It was Arnold Lopez down. Here's Rivas now, leading the break for New Mexico. Bruce, here's the Englishman, Daniel Bruce, it takes a deflection, and it's off target. But the Englishman, Chris, just looks to cut it back on his right foot. No deflection there, actually. Yeah, you can just see, just gets, just gets the defender off balance there. And, um, uh, and he walked by us, and my eyes were wide open. I said, there's no way he's 16. And I think that's the difference. You know, obviously, in America, there's so much competition for the athletes in this country. You know, a lot of the, the big athletes go and play maybe other sports. Uh, maybe it's a little more lucrative. Where it it looks like Kecko run over this. Ciceroni now has a go. Sends it right into the waiting arms of the Athenian goalkeeper, Alex Tambakis. Played and started in every single match for Republic so far. Archimed, flag stays down. This is trouble. Cross goes in. Ciceroni unable to redirect it. The next tackle knew he had to win it as well, and he's got himself in yellow card trouble in the past, but that's the commitment level that Sam Hamilton has there. A little bit of extracurriculars there between it. Nicky Hernandez and Ferretti Sosa. And so we've got a yellow card shown to Shane Wheat. You've been fouled. Call Ferguson Law from New Mexico's leading personal injury attorneys for over 40 years. Since arriving at the beginning of last year. Touch from Hernandez. Finds Bruce. Here's Moreno now. Moreno finds Swartz. Harry Swartz has opened up the scoring. 45th minute. It's the Boston native Harry Swartz scoring his third goal of the season to open it up on Meow Wolf night. In the league, Harry Swartz has opened up the scoring here tonight, unlocking the league's stingiest defense here in the 45th minute. And you can see the composure there. He even gets a little tug of his jersey there. Maybe it was Sanchez last ditch. And just there, you can see the goalkeeper just can't quite get across. Slight. To approach the end of the uh, first half stoppage time. First 45 in the books here between top of the West, Sac Republic, and ninth place, New Mexico United. It's the black and yellow on top here. 1 0 at the break, Chris. There's a hard challenge there by Archimed. And Hamilton is down, grabbing his face. And a yellow card going to be shown. He's got options. Daniel Bruce now. Picked up by Connor Donovan. Finds Rivas. Here's the Albuquerque native Rivas. Moreno now. Moreno scores his sixth goal of the season. New Mexico up 2 0 on top of the West Sac Republic. Here we have another look on this TLC replay. El Sayahin firing home, unlocking this Sac Republic defense for the second time here this evening are the black and yellow. They're the first club this season. Sixth goal of the campaign for the El Salvadorian International and the black and yellow in business, looking for a third. Here's Bruce, he's got Moreno on the other side. Moreno, big save, Moreno on the follow-up, skies it over the bar. Yeah, that first save, Moreno does opt to take it first time this time. Great save by the goalkeeper. Coughs it back up, straight back out. That save right there. It sounds like Sacramento may be making some subs here. 
as New Mexico still asking questions around the 18. Here's Hernandez, Moreno now, left-footed cross, ball bouncing around, falls to Hernandez, one times it, it's 3-0! New Mexico are on fire here on Meow Wolf night! Oh, the little dance by Hernandez as well, get him signed up to a longer contract. Swords in the 45th, Moreno in the 57th, and now it's this. A first goal for the club for Nicky Hernandez, and what a strike it is. Like I say, it's a, being in the right place at the right time is a skill, and you can see he just kind of drifts away from where the ball is. Thinks maybe, it, is there going to be a chance coming? Bit of fortune that it does find them, but does really well. It's so easy to sky that. When it comes to away days, you're talking times by cars. You're looking at Phoenix, which is a good six hours. Springs, also a good six hours. As this one flies back to Greg Hurst. And he sends this one over the bar. Still in contention, just given the, how the points are, are shaping out so far. This one could really be the one to, to propel you into the second half of the season. As this one has to be saved by Tambakis. It was a valiant effort there on the bicycle kick. Goal there, but comfortable save in the end. But the technique and the ability to contort his body when he was going, all his body weight was going the other direction as well, and got got decent contact to be fair. Yeah, but yeah, go back to what you were saying. Momentum is an absolute. Pick up the first win on Meow Wolf Night in club history. They're looking to beat Sacramento here at the lab for the first time in club history. Yeah, and that's huge. We mentioned that in the first uh, in the first half. It's a club that New Mexico United have really struggled against. Sacramento they tend to have the up their number on too many of occasions. Suggs battling with Gurr. Keko. And that's the full-time whistle here at the lab. New Mexico victorious on Meow Wolf night for the first time. Also victorious here at home over Sac Republic. For the